Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. Spooky's house of jump scares. Alrighty, I'm I'm back here. Don't worry, your guide is back. I'm gonna I'm here to kind of guide you through the rest of the mansion, obviously, because I'm it's pretty evident that you guys probably need a really brave individual to lead you through this because obviously through the first three episodes, I haven't been scared once, I haven't been freaked out, anything like that. So it's pretty clear to me that, you know, you guys need to be taken through this mansion, and who better to do it than Falcon, right? So Let's get back into the game now, shall we? Because, um, you know, I am the pillar of bravery here. We're gonna go be going through, um, room 300 and upwards. I guess our next goal is, uh, 400. So we'll keep going forward to that. So far, we run into the... Oh, baby! Again, I wasn't really scared. It just kind of surprised me. Um, you're no longer cued. That is, um, a little bit eerie because it's no longer cued. It's usually... It used to be a little... You know, like tentacle monster type of thing, right? The Japanese hentai one that we talked about, but it's um, not as cute as anymore. Um, <laughs> what I was trying to get at before that popped up was that we've been through quite a few, right? We've been through the um, the, the corpse party themed rooms. We've been through the Silent Hill themed rooms, so we're not entirely sure what awaits us still. Um, the last thing I think we noticed that was kind of like a little bit eerie, a little bit off, was the fact that we ran into that one room with the brain. It looked like a brain anyway, like in a glass jar, right? Or like some sort of like test subject type of thing. Maybe. <laughs> Shut up. Stop making that noise, alrighty? It's not even... You know, I think somebody in the comments said it right. They were like, you know what, Falcon, I don't think he's scared. It's just the noise that's really startling. And you know what? I have to agree with that person. It's just the noise. It's... Okay. Here's the thing. This is like some Legend of Zelda type shit now. Yeah, I could see how. Okay, I'm just gonna go through here. Excuse me, sir. I need to get through. Oh, I guess this is the right one. So we are doing some Legend of Zelda stuff now, which is uh, I did mention what wasn't gonna be the next um, theme, but apparently here we go. What is this supposed to be? Well, we have a note. <clears throat> One day, the strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his stores and his gifts. But the town couldn't support the store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous. So one night, some of the townspeople took all of his puppets and threw them in the river. Okay. That's like, r really insensitive of them, right? You know, he's just over here trying to sell his puppets, nothing wrong with that. But just afterwards, he came, running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive in the river, until he never came back to the surface of the water. What is going on with these people, man? They're just complete dicks. Oh, I got a, I got a key, though. Now, mind you, they didn't look like a regular key. It looked like one of the keys that you opened up the chest in The Legend of Zelda, so that might be the one right there. So, where do we go from here? I mean, well, this one we obviously can't walk through, so I guess we have to go through that one. Alright, there we go. It's just a fake illusionary type of thing. I get you. Alrighty. That's fine. You know what? Legend of Zelda is not scary, alright? It's not supposed to be scary. I guess I could just walk through this one. That's fine. I guess we'll do that. Uh, I like how we keep going into room 310, by the way. <laughs> have you noticed that we haven't gone um, to room 311? That is kind of eerie, but it's locked. I have a key, though. I have a key. Use the key. My friend used the key. Okay, is that not the right one? Well, I guess that's not the right one. Um, let's go through here. I can't go through that one. So we'll go through this one. Nope, not gonna happen either. Alrighty, well now we're running into a bit of an issue here. 310 still. Although, not what they wanted. The shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. As more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seem almost too like the missing children sometimes. <clears throat> okay. I'm just gonna grab this key now, if you don't mind. So this has to be the key that kind of gets us through that door then, right? I guess we just have to come back here again. But that's okay. Um, this is the startup room, so I think we probably have to go through top door. Top door is not working anymore, so I guess we go back through here. Um, and this should be our key, right? It is. Room three... 
Room three to ten. Um, what's that on your hand, sir? If you don't mind, I'm just gonna go through here. Oh God! Okay. Okay, I'm in room three. No, 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 no. What the fuck is happening right now? No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Fight it. Just fight it. To become a puppet, it is to rid oneself of the pain and the harshness of choice. Now, nothing you do is your fault. I wasn't done reading that. Your soul wanders in endless maze. I gotta call bullshit on that one. Okay, look, look here for a second, um... Falk, yeah, whatever you want to go there. Oh, what do you mean it's over? It's not over. I just started. I was getting away from Dead Man. Okay. Can I continue from here, or are we do we have to start all over again? That's the real good question here. Let's find out. Play. There's a continue feature. We're back in room 300. Alrighty, so um, obviously we took the wrong path there. So let me um, try to find the right one. Alright, guys. We were back. So now... Now I gotta find out what the deal with this guy is. Um, going left killed us, right? So do we have to go right? Do I get close to- Okay! Nope, don't get close to him. Have you noticed that he's actually a puppet himself? You see the strings? You can kind of make him out a little bit. Alrighty, so um, going close to him is not the answer. Can I just go back? Nope! <gasps> Alrighty, so, obviously, I think I figured it out. You saw he got like he was just instantly behind us the moment we turned around, right? I think the moment he spots you, you can turn your back to him. So if that's the case, let's just walk around far away. Keep turning around. How do I get through this door without turning around? Oh, it's locked. I could turn. I could open a door with my back still. So we just have to get away from him this way. Open a door. Do I have to turn around all the time? I just might. I don't know where I'm going though. Oh god! Oh shit! Okay. Never, never turn around. Never turn around. Just never turn around. This is really highly difficult to move backwards. I don't even know how to drive. Excuse me, sir. Can you stop killing me? I need to regenerate some health too. I don't know how to do it. He's gonna kill me in the next stab. I don't want to die anymore. Don't let me die, you piece of shit. Alright, so open door and turn around quickly. That's the trick. Tr open door, turn around quickly, and he won't be there to stab me. Now, obviously, uh, I have a feeling what's gonna happen right now, right? The, the, the moment he's gonna turn he's gonna show up behind me at some point again. He's gonna fucking trick me. <clears throat> that is one of the spooky skeletons that just popped up behind me. <laughs> I could hear it. I just couldn't see it. Alright, look, we're getting some health back, if that's the upside here. Just in case he does stab me again, we, we might not go down. But Jesus Christ, this is a slow-ass way to do this now, isn't it? I could run backwards. I mean, this is kind of hard to do. I mean, I'm used to kind of... Oh, come on, up, 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 up. Alright, Falcon, stop fucking around. Let's not even run. Let's just focus on walking backwards calmly. And anyway, we should be fine. Puppet Man, you, sir, are the, the biggest dick so far. Am I at a door? I'm at the door. Turn around. Turn around. Keep your eyes on the door. And we should be fine. Where is the exit? Where is the exit? I think I see it. Okay. I saw the door really quickly. Gotta walk a diagonal pattern here. Turn around. I, I don't hear the music anymore. Which possibly leads me to believe that I think we're fine now, but I I'm too scared to look. No, no, I hear the music again. Okay. Let's just walk backwards. We're fine as long as we keep walking backwards. Let's run back a little bit if I can, too. How fucked up would this be if you literally had to run backwards? Like, the problem is that I, I'm so used to going forward and running that I'm not used to holding down and stop scaring me. Or trying to, anyway. I'm just not used to running backwards holding the um, S key. So it's a little bit confusing, honestly. 
Okay, I think the door's right here. Please stop chasing me. I want to run forward now, but obviously he's going to catch up to me if I do turn around, so I can't do it. Where is the door here? And who's to say I'm not walking into some sort of like crazy trap? They want me to walk forward, backward for a reason, right? There's a door. This is a door. Turn around. I'm not giving you the satisfaction anymore, Puppet Master. I can just run backwards, right? This is one hallway. Just run back. Door's right here. Oh, oh god, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the music went away. And the room kind of freaked me out a little bit. Alright, I see Hell's Inferno right there, just on that painting. Which seems like a pretty good comparison to what's happening here. Now, do I dare run forward? The music is gone completely, but it's been gone before. And I feel like they just want me to turn around. They just want me to lose my edge over here. Okay, now I have to imagine he's not going to chase me. So let's do this sound puzzle really quickly here. And we're through the sound puzzle. Okay, so now I think that says that I can run forward now. Okay. 15 more rooms, I can do this. As, lo as long as Puppet Man is gone, that's all that really matters. Jesus Christ, already. Um, obviously. Let's just say, let's get the, um, let's address the elephant in the room right here. Spooky. Tentacle, dude. The elephant in the room right here is the fact that, uh, obviously, yeah, we were a little bit, you know, startled. Now, I would honestly say it was more of a thing where I wasn't, um, comfortable. You know, I wasn't really scared, it was just more uncomfortable, the unknown. And, um, we've, we're, we're over it now. We knew how to get past that puzzle, and that's the important thing over here. But, um, scared? I would honestly have to argue with that. Whoever's claiming that I'm scared, I mean, we're, we're, we got through it. That's what really matters, right? So, I mean, what's the worst that could happen now, right? Just over here to 350. Should be fine. Let's get some of the stamina up and running over here, too. <clears throat> now, I I'm only waiting for the time where you probably have to run backwards, because, um, not only is Puppet Man after you, but probably, like, you know, Slimer. so much. <laughs> ah. Okay, creepy faces are a little bit shaking me up a little bit more than No, 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 that's Slimer. What what happened to my what happened to my free room? I thought it was every 50 rooms. No, no, no. I thought it was every 50 rooms. S stop it. Stop it right now. Spooky skeleton, you're not even scary. You're just holding me back. Okay, the plan was every fucking 50 rooms, not every 100 rooms. This is a lot more um, stressful than I thought it would be. Slimer doesn't scare me though, we could outrun him. As long as I don't run into walls, we should be out to outrun him. I'm, I'm a little bit freaked out only because of the fact that the game is switching up on me now. It's not giving me my safe haven every 50 rooms and that worries me a little bit because I don't want to retrace my steps again. Luckily, Slimer doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. We know how to deal with Slimer. Is ectoplasm is only going to stop us a little bit. But as long as it is a straight shot to the next save room, then that's okay. Now, how fucked up would it be if the game suddenly like, Now, nah, you know what? No more save rooms for you. <laughs> and that would be pretty terrible. So I don't know how it would continue going forward from that point. You know, those every 50 rooms honestly mean a lot to me. It's like, kind of like the bonfires in Dark Souls, you know? You're just like, you know, struggling, trying to get to your location finally. You've been through hell and back, and suddenly there is a bonfire far away, and you're like, Oh god, I just gotta get there and save. This, that was what one of my 50 rooms were in this game, but now, that's completely different. Alrighty. We're almost at 370, though, meaning we're, we're almost there. And we have full health, so you know, even if I fuck it up, we shouldn't be able to die yet. We have another sun puzzle, alrighty. And we're done with that one. Alrighty. Usually, the sound puzzles do signify, or signify the fact that you're probably done with the spooky horror after you, so that's good. Any, uh, pages over here that we're missing? Gotta make sure they keep reading the story. Well, actually, I don't think there's even much of a story anymore now, is there, right? Because the guy that was writing the notes is dead. And here is another one of these. Let's find out if there's anything new. Alrighty, I, I think we're looking for Specimen 6, right? There we go. Active. Fatalities 139 or 89. Physical punctures. A wooden life-shaped puppet found floating in the reservoir where a town had once been. Specimen is active despite appearance and has proved very effective on subjects who disregard it or have vision impairments. Yeah. No fucking kidding vision impairments. I mean, not particularly vision impairments, but it's the whole thing of running backwards. Oh shit. We have Specimen 7 as well. 
Unknown. Fatality is 93. Specimen is constantly changing form and attributes depending on the subject's personality, but most common form resembles a wall of moving anatomy symbols, only effective on subjects with past trauma or a history of psychological issues. Hmm. I wonder if that has to do with the, um, when the Silent Hill nurse was kind of chasing us. Oh god, what's going on over here? Specimen 8. Oh, no, 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 no. Absorption. A floating figure that appeared in the test chamber a few years after it was filled with what was believed to just be usually violent deer. Specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into his torso region, prove extremely effective on violent subjects. Alright. And then we have... That's not even working. <clears throat> What's with these secret ones over here? Oh, that's worrisome. Okay. So let's go back now. Um... I don't think we have to modify the house layout. I, I hope not, anyway. So I'm gonna skip on that one. I just want to get to room 400, man, and finally get my save point. <laughs> That's all I'm really looking forward to right now. That would be the saving grace. But we're not far. We could easily do 23 more rooms. We do 23 rooms in our sleep, man. At least I do. And that's not because I, you know, I sleep all at night. Alrighty, done with that. Alrighty, 20 more rooms. We we got this in the bag, man. We just, we're, we're almost there. We're, we're, we're gonna make, oh, come on, sound puzzles. You're busting my balls. Now with that one. 90 rooms. I could almost taste it, man. I could almost taste it. Alrighty, anything over here? Not quite. Ooh. 16 more rooms. Oh, come on. Now with that. 15 rooms, we got this. The worst thing that could happen at this point, I have to imagine, is probably one of those um, eerie little pop-ups with the um, grim face paintings on them. So as long as we just keep an eye out for that, we should be okay. 12 more rooms, 10 more rooms, okay. Come on, you got this, Falcon. No letters, nope. I hear some eerie s No, 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 not right now. Not right now, please. This is bullshit. I'm almost out of here. Don't do it this way. Just gotta run straight. Five more rooms. Come on, come on, come on. We, we gotta have this. We gotta have this, right? No, no, no. Don't discombobulate me. Don't you dare do it. Stop it. Two more rooms. Got two more rooms. No, don't do it here. This is kind of like a really tricky area to move around. One more room. Come on. Where is it? No, 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 no. It's right there. It's gotta be right here. Oh god, we made it. Oh my fucking god, obviously there's no letters because the dude is dead. He didn't make it past 300, which we did, so that's good. Alright, we can call an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I sure did. But again, we're not scared, right? You're not scared, I'm not scared, we're doing just fine. Room 400. That wasn't even that hard, was it? I mean, that was easy. We got this through. We got this fine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support always does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.